What we have here is a uh, one story and a uh, very prestigious community of Seven Hills in uh, uh, Henderson, which is part of the Las Vegas metropolitan area. It's uh, 2,136 square feet. It's a three bedroom, very nicely appointed. It's a gated community, uh, very nice gated community. See, clean, high end all the way. You have uh, the double doors there is actually uh, coming off the kitchen. That's not the front door. And then you have a two car garage here. As you come in the front door, you have the living room and what I assume would be a formal dining room. Oak hardwood floors. The rest of the living area has uh, tile. Relatively open floor plan. Living room opens into the living or the living room dining room opens into the kitchen area as well as the family room. The family room again has the 18-inch ceramic tile, good quality tile. You have six-inch ceramic tile countertops. Appliances are in place, black appliances. Very large kitchen with a pantry in the corner built-in microwave, oak flat paneled cabinets with the cathedral top to them there. You have a fireplace and the uh, sliding patio doors going out into the backyard, which is a very nice backyard. Here's one of the guest bedrooms. Upgraded uh, shag carpet, very nice. It's not your standard construction grade with a good pad. Sliding door closet with baskets, uh, the, the drawers built in. Between the two bedrooms, you have a, uh, the guest bathroom with double sinks, cultured marble countertops, white cabinetry, and you have the commode and tub shower in a separate room there. Next to that, you have what they're calling the third bedroom. Now, technically, this is not a bedroom, even though in the uh, uh, tax records it's showing it, but there's no, there's no closet in here. So it would be more of an officer den than a bedroom, actually. But you have some nice track lighting, and it would make an extremely good office. Or it could be used as a guest bedroom or something like that. But uh, again, without the, the uh, closet. It's really not legitimately considered to be a bedroom. You have a nice master suite here. Window treatments are still on. Again in the uh, uh, master you have the ceramic tile, the 18 inch ceramic tile. Now one thing about this house, this is not a short sale and it is not a uh, a foreclosure, a Rio. So it's one that uh, uh, once you make a deal, you know you've got a deal once you've got a contract. Now, in this uh, master bedroom, you've got a nice uh, ceiling fan. You have a little sliding door closet here in the corner. Got a TV niche. And then in the master bath, you have a walk-in closet. You have a separate shower and bath. You have the uh, double sinks. Again, you have the white cabinets. And you have a separate WC. Now you do have an additional room here, which is attached or between the uh, master suite and the garage that could be used as a utility room, could be used as an office, whatever. It, it again has the track lighting like you have in the other room. And ceramic tile. But this one really could not legitimately be used as a, uh, uh, a bedroom or a guest bedroom because it connects to the garage and by code 
you can't have an exit going from uh, a bedroom or a sleeping area to the garage because of the potential for carbon monoxide. But that door right there goes to the garage. Two car garage, you got the water softener in place. Garage door opener. Pegboard, a little bit of shelving. And it does exit to the outside. And you do have a separate laundry room here uh, between the uh, garage and the master suite with the uh, washer dryer still in place. Have a very nice backyard here with a decorative patio, a little bit of grass, fully landscaped, good size for the uh, Las Vegas area. And you have a sauna back in the corner back there. Be a good place to entertain. Again we have a, a great house and a great community. Uh, the tax record show it is a three bedroom. The listing shows it is a three bedroom. Technically it's not. It's two bedroom but there is a a separate room. Most people are going to be using one of the bedrooms as an office and as such one of these, one, the one room that the tax records are considering to be an office or considering to be a bedroom would make a great office and could also be used as a guest bedroom so long as you didn't need the closet space.